Welcome to Mr Chalk's Revision Tips. In this video, we will look at desalination, water treatment and sewerage treatment. Water treatment is a process that improves water quality and makes it possible for us to drink it or for it to go and be put back into water supplies. Desalination is the process where we remove salt from water. Water treatment in general is the process where we go and make water safe to drink. And sewage treatment is the process where we go and treat waste sewer water and remove harmful materials from it before it can go and be put back into water supplies. Desaltation is the removal of salt from seawater. The first type is by reverse osmosis and the second type is by thermal desaltation. There are two main ways that you need to know about. So membrane desaltation. So salt water is forced through a series of membrane sheets at high pressure. The membrane sheets have holes in that are too small for salt ions to pass through. So therefore, you only allow water molecules to pass through and the salt gets trapped. The second way is by thermal desaltation. So this is where the water will be evaporated and the salt will be left behind. The water that you evaporate will then be needed to be captured and condensed further along before we can drink it. So the process of desaltation starts off with seawater. So seawater is drawn into the plant from the sea. The seawater undergoes a two stage mechanical filtration process that removes coarse or fine particles from it. So bits of sand, grit, etc. Chemicals are added to stick impurities together and fine air bubbles are pumped in to float these particles to the surface where they can be scraped off and removed. The clarified seawater passes into a semi-permeable membrane to remove impurities, microorganisms and bacteria. The pre-treated seawater is pumped at high pressure through membranes with holes too small to allow salt particles to pass through. So the water is made possible by adding things like chlorine and fluorine to, to remain or to ensure that it remains safe to drink. Water treatment is any process that removes impurities and improves the quality of water so that it can be drank. So the main processes that are involved are filtration. So filtration is just the process of filtering out larger materials. It can be done through filter beds or screens. Sedimentation. So sedimentation is generally when we add a chemical to it that causes small particles to go and clump together. They then go and sink down to the bottom and form a layer of sediment that can be filtered out. And finally, chlorination. So chlorine gas is injected into the water to sterilize it. So this is to kill microbes. So the process starts off with a screening. So grit and large particles are removed by a large screen. A coarse filter then removes medium sized particles. Sedimentation is allowed to happen, so tiny particles settle out in the sill water and form a sludge at the bottom, which can then be filtered out. The water is then passed through a fine sand filter, which removes any other small particles. 
Um, the effluent, so the stuff that's left over, is treated using aerobic bacteria to go and break down things. The water is treated with chlorine and then is stored ready to be pumped to homes. Potable water, so that's water that's safe to drink. So seawater can be changed into potable water by using desaltation. Water from reservoirs undergo water treatment to make it drinkable. So name the substance that is removed from seawater by desaltation. Um, desaltation requires a large amount of energy. So desaltation is only used when there are no other sources of possible water, suggest why. Water from lakes and rivers can be treated to make it potable. So the first stage is to filter the water. So what's being removed and chlorine gas is added to the filtered water. And why is chlorine gas being added? So just have a think about those questions, then have a look at the answers. So the substance we're removing are dissolved salts. If we don't need to use desaltation, we don't because it uses large amounts of energy and is expensive. Large bits of plants and such forth are removed from water that's coming from reservoirs. Chlorine is added to kill bacteria. And if we're thinking of a test to check for chlorine, we can see if the water or the chlorine is present because it bleaches litmus paper. Chlorine is used to make bleachers, plastics and medicines. Swimming pool water is often treated with chlorine. Chlorine is used to make the water safe to drink. It is relatively cheap and easy to use. People who drink untreated water risk dying from typhoid and cholera. However, chlorine is a poisonous gas. It causes breathing difficulties and can kill people. Some people are also allergic to chlorine. The amount of chlorine in swimming pool water should be carefully monitored and controlled. Explain why. Developing countries are likely to choose chlorination as a method of making their drinking water safe to drink. And the decision taken about the safety of using chlorine should be based on evidence rather than hearsay and opinion, right? Why is that? So have a think about those questions, then have a look at the answers. So the first one, chlorine is poisonous, so it could kill people or make them ill. We use chlorine because it's relatively cheap and easy to use. And the reason that we look at evidence is because it's more likely to be reliable it's more likely to be based on facts. It's more likely to be based on experimental evidence. So sewage treatment is the process where we go and treat sewage before it's released back into the environment generally. It undergoes two main stages. So we've got primary treatment. So primary treatment consists of temporarily holding the sewage in basins where heavy solids and such forth go and sink to the bottom. Grease and lighter fluids will go and sink to the top. Both can be filtered off. And then secondary treatment is the process where wastewater will go and have bacteria and other biological matter in it broken down so it can be removed. The process that undergoes or we carry out when treating sewage is that generally wastewater and sewage is pumped underground to a lifting station where it can be chemically treated to start off with and then sent for separation. The separation process filters out solids larger than 30 millimetres which can then be transported away. Primary settling basins allow heavy materials to sink to the bottom that can then be scraped away. A lot of that can be used as fertilizers 
in farms. The effluent is then pumped into bioreactors for nine hours. A series of these bioreactors break down bacteria and other harmful matter in the water. We then use secondary chlorifiers. So these are gravity fed. So the water goes and moves over them. And we continue to break down the bacteria during that process. And finally, the water is chemically treated using chlorine to make sure that any bacteria that is left over is killed. It can then pass over a weir and travel back into the water supply. So explain why it is more difficult to produce drinking water from wastewater than water from lakes. The reasons why is because it contains more organic matter, more microbes, so and it contains more toxic chemicals or detergents that might have to be removed or dealt with. Thanks for watching.